All right, so here we are with uh, some quick fiber optic stuff. I'll be using a portion of the uh, MPC Cutaway Millennium Falcon. I've already drilled this up severely, and uh, let's give this light some juice here. So as you should be able to see, there's all sorts of holes all throughout the body here. One bad thing you'll notice is that you can see through the plastic. So what I need to do is go over the back of this with a lot of black paint and that will uh, help to block the light out. I shouldn't have too much free light going through because I plan on using a lot of fiber optics here. So essentially what you're wanting to do is uh, first of all threading fiber optics is a total pain in the ass uh, good luck with it it's a nightmare and uh, the way I sealed this in was to use some white glue Elmer's and even then you can see it's kind of falling apart so the connections are stable but they aren't sturdy and drilling all these holes was uh, definitely not a lot of fun but it once you get into it, you can do a few hundred in an hour pretty easily. That includes taking breaks and all sorts of stuff like that. Here's a fiber optic toy I picked up at the dollar store. Uh, there's the power switch. Basically what you're going to do is you want to hook the LED up to the back of the fiber optic and then it'll come through nice and easy like that. So this toy happens to come apart and uh, here I've got a bundle I pulled out of the plastic tube but as you can see that's all coming through the ends there and depending on how offset your source is to the fiber optics will determine how well the light is coming through at the far end essentially again with all all you do with this is take some heat shrink put your light in and uh, seal the heat shrink and you're all set. So uh, let's uh, do that here just to show you what's up. So as you can see here, a couple of these fiber optic strands uh, squiggled up all over the place. These are meltable even though they are essentially glass. And now you can see you got a real stable connection here. All the lights are nice and bright and uh, essentially from here you would put this into wherever you need it to go. What I want to do here is hook up some of these strands to this multi-light so I don't know how well the camera is going to pick that up there let's uh, try this one here uh, that one's underneath so I was pretty sure that uh, let's try this one of the most important things is having uh, an even end to all this. So the camera's probably picking that up not too badly now. Get it a little closer here. Ah, so I think that's coming on there. And again, you can probably see the light coming through the floor there, so I have to paint all that. But really, that's all there is to fiber optics. I'm not going to probably put this blinking light into that particular one. I want to put it over here on the back panel. But if you didn't want to do the fiber optics, of course, you could also just put lights behind the area. But uh, as you can see, you get a general sort of uh, light everywhere sort of thing and just putting them specifically into specific spots. Now that's kind of, there we go. 
Again, I don't know if that's going to show up too well on the camera here. But yeah, so essentially I would take all, once this is fully fiber optic up, and I still have a lot more holes to fill here, you bundle in whatever wires you want to whatever color, heat shrink your light source to your bundle, and you're done. That's a full fiber optic circuit waiting to be used. So I think that's pretty much it for this. If I think of anything more with uh, the LEDs and fiber optics, I'll definitely let you know. And like I say, a simpler technique can be to simply put an LED behind whatever it is you want to light, but you get a lot of extra light bouncing around. And trying to thread all this into these holes now is possible but exceptionally difficult so your best bet is to wire or thread all your LED or all your fiber optic first then hook up make sure it's all sealed in and then hook your lights up to that now in this particular case you can see there's a lot of magnets in here not so I can gain access later on this is totally stable and it's uh, not going anywhere as you can see, I've already tried to do some fiber optics up here on the top, and I had spent about three hours trying to get this guy done, and when I went to tape them all together, almost all except for three or four fell out. So uh, I'm going to abandon this, and I'm going to start on this particular model with the front nose and work my way back. And... Uh, I don't know if the light will show it, but there's no light leaking through at all because this is painted black fully first. And I've got magnets all throughout the body so that I can just snap the pieces back on and gain access later. Access is real critical when you're doing electronics and you don't want to build anything that you can't get into later on. So, I think that's about it for the fiber optics. I've got a few models coming up that are going to be using this. So uh, watch for those, check my playlists, and uh, you'll find them. And I guess that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.